Rockies, we have got partly cloudy skies from Ivy Wild to Venatucci Farm, all the way back to Kissing Camels. 68 is the current temperature, no wind anywhere across the city. How about a live look downtown Pueblo? You're at 71 right now, crystal clear skies all across Pueblo County. Here's what's going to happen over the next 24 hours. A cold front has moved through. It'll post up down to the southeast of us tomorrow. Temperatures anywhere from 10 to 15 degrees cooler than what we had today. We'll have an upslope flow at the surface. Now what that'll do is entice in low level moisture and that is the fuel for some of those afternoon thunderstorms. Qual calm and quiet during the morning hours. Then we're going to see those things start to fire up over the higher elevations by about 1 to 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Could see a little intensity with these thunderstorms out across rural Eastern El Paso County. Look out for maybe some small hail, dangerous cloud to ground lightning, but some good rain with some of the thunderstorms. And as you push further east, those thunderstorms will intensify. We could see large hail across the far southeastern plains tomorrow, maybe up to an inch in diameter. Winds maybe as strong as 60 miles per hour. Could see a few severe thunderstorms out across that area. Everything starts to shut down right around sunset tomorrow evening. Now by Friday, bigger fish to fry. A stronger cold front comes in Friday morning. Going to have the necessary ups slope component around here. Good water source with this one will have rain and snow and it's going to get a lot colder on Friday. Afternoon highs about 40 degrees colder than what we'll have on Thursday. Dry skies Friday morning and then that stuff rolls off the mountains right across the I-25 corridor. I think late Friday afternoon, but especially Friday night, we're going to see some healthy wet snow across northern El Paso County up into Teller County. Wet mountains and Sangre is going to get a good drink of water as well. Too warm for uh, snow across the far eastern plains, but you will get a good soak as far as rain goes. That stuff could stick around through Saturday morning. Now it's too early to talk uh, snowfall totals as far as uh, how much we're going to get sediment cement, but I wanted to give you an early look as what could happen across the area. This model bringing in a little over an inch in Colorado Springs by sunrise Saturday morning and up to four inches possible northern El Paso County into Teller County. I've seen other models doubling that amount across the higher elevations of the Pikes Peak region. One of those situations where we need to stay tuned as this thing develops. As it evolves, we'll hone in those snow totals for you as you continue to watch over the next few days. Really warm this morning, especially in in the springs at 54 and then we set those records this afternoon outside right now still really comfortable out there 60s and 70s across southeastern Colorado lows tonight quite comfortable we'll have clear to partly cloudy skies afternoon highs tomorrow you talk about a spring break you will get one tomorrow absolutely gorgeous during the morning and then some of that Rocky Mountain Thunder during the afternoon in Colorado Springs this is your super seven day forecast precip opportunities get better as we work into the afternoon hours then on Thursday strong gusty wind out of the west that will bring with it very high fire danger could see gusts up to 40 miles per hour dry fuels humidity in the single digit so be on the alert we'll have red flag warnings flying on thursday then we get that beneficial storm late friday into saturday saturday morning i've got the low right now at 29 degrees so if you've got tender vegetation you'll probably need to cover that stuff up in pueblo from the 90s to the 40s you'll go from sweating to sweaters just like that but you'll also get a beneficial soak late friday into saturday morning a few snow showers even possible in Pueblo early Saturday morning and those lows Saturday and Sunday right around 33 degrees Canyon City you're going to have a chill weekend, literally, on Saturday. Look how cold it's going to be. That spring green could turn to winter white. A few snow showers possible there late Friday into Saturday morning. Considering how dry it's been with high fire danger, that is a good thing, even on the weekend. Woodland Park, this is going to be the perfect storm for you up there Friday into Saturday. A wet, heavy snow loaded with water. It will accumulate. I think roads could get slick and slushy, especially late Friday night into Saturday morning. I'll keep you posted with updated forecasts as this one develops and moves our way. Guys. Mike, thanks.